this hawthorn. It's a beautiful big white hawthorn. You can see one of the beetles that are is a pollinator right there. Whoops. Let's see, where is he? He's disappearing. He's one of the pollinators. So these white blossoms attract everything. Here you can see the after effects of pollination, the fruit beginning to show. You can see right there is one of the hawthorn fruits beginning to fatten after the flower has been pollinated. That's why we need the pollinators. It's to create the fruit and the vegetables and the grains. Some pollens are old fashioned and they, the wind, like what this is happening. The wind does the pollinating. Those are ancient, ancient species like hazel trees. Their pollen is spread by the wind as well as pollinators. But these guys, these likes pollinators of all varieties, bees and beetles and flies and all kinds of things. So all was full of pollinators and they'll still come because that's still ready waiting to be pollinated. Mind you, see a lot of the leaves are falling now. So it's finished and turning into its fruit. As you can see there's still buds that will open up and a pollinator will come. It smells lovely, lovely musty sweet smell. Sorry there isn't smell-o-vision. <laughs>